What's good guys, how was your weekend? It seemed like a pretty tame weekend in terms of sneaker releases. Uh, of course, if you're here in the UK, it was uh, pretty crazy other than that, but we won't get into talking about football. We'll keep it sneakers. So let's talk about the release, kind of the biggest one, the one that I uh, was really, really excited for. Of course, the Jordan 4 Tech Gray or White Oreo finally released. I mean, we've been waiting for this pair of sneakers for a long time. Uh, it's been pushed back, pushed back, and uh, finally released. And you know what? It was, it's a bit of a mess. Now, I know I had a lot of people from the US and they were like, yo, a lot of people got these pairs of shoes and you know, it's all good. They love it. The material apparently is awesome. Uh, I took an L, but I think it's because like a lot of places didn't drop here in the UK. Like people are asking a lot of money for this pair of shoes because so many different raffle uh, places, retailers just didn't get the, the normal pairs in. A lot of them got the GS pairs in. However, most of them, it seems like, didn't manage to get the men's pairs. So there is a delay on that. And for anybody in the UK, maybe hold off from buying a pair right now because people are asking about 300 pounds which i believe out in the us is like what five maybe six hundred dollars and i know that they're not going for that uh, out in the us you can take a look at the prices on on goat which i believe goat has us prices so it would be a little bit more accurate to how the release went out there uh, but obviously to make sure i do want to hear from you guys let me know what happened let me know with this release did you manage to hit how was the release out in the us uh, and then how was the release out here in the uk for you did you managed to get a pair this is something that look honestly i think i'm gonna have to pay resale because i'm looking at them and they are clean as hell but let's keep moving on with the video and before we actually get into the actual news i just want to take a quick second here to say thank you everybody for, for liking the video and just uh, interacting with me i just want to say thank you just really quick nothing too crazy we're not gonna start uh, getting all emotion i'm just saying a very quick thank you uh, i've seen a good response to a lot of the videos that i'm uploading and of course uh, you guys go and follow me over on Instagram as well and you're messaging me on there. So I do just want to say thank you so much for supporting the channel. But with that being said, let's get into some of the upcoming news. So this one is dropping on Monday. That is the Yeezy MNVN Blue. What is this one called? Blue Tint? Blue Tint. That's right. So yeah, kind of, I mean, it's an MNVN. It's a, it's actually a, a really nice color of blue. Like it's almost like the bone colorway that we had previously. However, it just has a very slight blue tint, I guess aptly named, um, and it is dropping on Monday. So we know what happens with the Monday releases, uh, and this is already loaded up everywhere. So you should be able to enter raffle. You should be able to go and see the release over on the confirmed app because right now it is up there for a uh, Q drop. So on Monday morning, you're going to wake up, you're going to go to the confirmed app. If you wanted it, if you don't, I understand maybe you got the uh, the last ones that dropped, the bright blues, uh, or the blues, I can't remember what the hell they were called. Yeah, and I already know that a lot of people have mixed feelings on the MNVNs anyway, so I don't imagine this would be a hard cop, however, maybe they've made it stock limited, I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, these are dropping on Monday if you wanted to grab them, so I would suggest to go and start entering raffles uh, ASAP. So, we got to talk about New Balance. New Balance released, or they are kind of in the process of releasing the Protection Pack. Have you guys seen these New Balances? They look insane. I don't know what it is about this crazy material. Just have a look at it. It's all raw and it looks super nappy and it just makes this shoe look incredible. I really, really like it. Even the tongue is kind of cut raw edge. Uh, so there was a couple different colorways that dropped. However, why it's on this list of upcoming singers is because I believe there will be some more retailers getting this pair of shoes um, because it kind of had a, like a very small limited drop on uh, a couple different retailers here in the EU. And I don't even know if it actually dropped out in the US. So this is definitely one that I would keep your eye out for if you did like it. Like I'm going to be keeping my eye out for this one for sure. The white one is called Sea Salt and this one is called Phantom. This dark, you know, I feel like these are all just three fire colorways. Look at this, this black one, how the, the midsole is again just kind of worn out. It looks like that black color is kind of faded to a gray. I really like these. I think they look sick. I'm definitely going to try and get my hands on them. Let's get into the next one. This is kind of uh, another kind of look at this pair of shoes. I know we briefly spoke about this one 
probably last year or maybe the beginning of 2021. Uh, but it is a Sakai Vapor Waffle Jean-Paul Gaultier. It's looking pretty crazy, man. It is looking pretty crazy. So essentially, I mean, it kind of looks like the Sakai Vapor Waffle but stitched on like the, the upper half of this shoe. It's got like baseball stitching on it. Like you can see thick leather stitching going around. You can hardly see the Nike swoosh. It just kind of looks really faded into it. Uh, so you've got this black pair and then you've got this super colorful pair, which actually shows the materials. But these two are apparently coming soon. I really don't know how to feel about it. Again, I haven't haven't changed my mind from when I initially saw these. Uh, when I initially saw them, I was like, oh, I don't really don't know about this pair of shoes maybe it, it could be nice like i know i remember like first seeing the sakai vapor waffle and being like a little bit oh, what the hell is this uh, and now it's like one of my favorite pairs of shoes so maybe that will happen but as of right now i'm really not not feeling them too much like take a look at this colorful one this colorful one is definitely not one for me it kind of has like the sesame colorway but then they also added like some some green and yellow into it as well. Other than that, it's pretty much a Sakai Vapor Waffle. Really cool details on it, uh, just as a concept of a pair of shoes. I think it looks pretty cool. But as far as me putting this on and wearing it, that's a whole nother story. And I just don't know if I'm gonna have the uh, the the ability to pull this off. We got Supreme coming through with another pretty basic, very basic Air Force One. And this time it is in the wheat colorway. So uh, pretty similar to, I guess, like, I mean, it's exactly the same as the last two colorways we had of the Supreme Air Force One. Small box logo on the back corner. I think a lot of people weren't too impressed by those two Air Forces. Uh, in terms of like the materials, it's exactly the same as a blank, just regular all white or uh, all black Air Force One. This one does look a little bit nicer. However, I believe it just be the same as any other like Flax Air Force One. I'm pr pretty sure we've seen this colorway or at least one very, very similar. I know I did a review on one. Uh, it was slightly different to this one, but this is a Wheat Supreme Air Force One. And I know it doesn't matter what the material's like. It's gonna be popular. Everybody's gonna want it. It is coming this fall, apparently. And uh, materials at least are looking a little bit better than the regular Air Force One. So, you know, maybe this is a dope colorway for the fall. I like flax pairs of shoes. I think it looks pretty cool on an Air Force One as well. I think it looks decent. Uh, pretty much all over suede. And then again, the only supreme element is going to be this uh, little box logo on the back. Maybe some spare laces, but you do have these rope laces, which look pretty cool. Speaking of Air Force One collaborations that I know are going to be very, very hyped. We got Off-White coming through with a woman's exclusive, another woman's exclusive. This one's pretty funny because all we have is a drawing of it, so we don't actually know too much. However, we do know that something like this is in the works, thanks to, I believe, C Sneakerheads. So this is like a mock-up of what the shoe should look like. You've got a blue Nike swoosh, you've got a blue tongue as well. This is a very plain drawing. I would imagine, obviously, off-white to do something pretty crazy with a pair of shoes. It looks like the midsole is going to be a kind of vintaged out, or maybe it is just that solid color, but I would imagine it to be slightly yellowed out. There's a mix of cream and white or very light gray. It's either coming this year in the holiday time or it is going to be coming in early 2022. But all the ladies out there who want this Air Force One or I'm sure guys who fit this size range, uh, be on the lookout because I'm sure this is gonna be very popular as well. And of course we got the Louis Vuitton Air Force Ones coming, but that is in 2022. Another Nike SB Dunk and uh, this one's looking pretty cool. So we're starting to see more Halloween stuff. Some more Halloween dunks, um, etc etc and this one is supposed to be kind of like a, a mummy you know the mummy with the with the wraps all over it that's what this one's supposed to look like uh, and I think they did a pretty good job you know like you look at the pieces kind of falling off the back um, like the material kind of fraying on the edges midsole glows in the dark as well of course like I mean if you're gonna make a, a Halloween pair of shoes you got to have some glow aspect to it you got the eyes on the back which I think looks sick like if you were a mummy and you were literally just wrapped up up in the gauze and you just had your eyes showing like this that's what the back of the shoe looks like so I think this is a sick pair 
for sure. Super good on the details um, and super good on the little elements here. I think this is awesome. So yeah, if you wanted this one, it should be coming Halloween time, so around October. But uh, as of right now, here's some early images and it is to be confirmed. Yeezy, Yeezy, Yeezy and their orange sneakers. Okay, so what have we had now? We've had the Sun 700s, the bright blues, the inflame ambers, uh, the 500 in flames, the, the Yeezy slides, I believe that's all of the kind of orange Yeezys. Well, guess what? We're getting another one, okay? And this is the wash orange colorway. So if you remember, I'll try and find an image of what I'm talking about, but if you remember uh, the, the kind of sample circles that Yeezy had of uh, all of the different sample shoes that were coming, specifically the 700s, a lot of them had those orange midsoles, and it turns out those are not just samples that are never going to be released. A lot of them are going to be released. So if you want to know what's upcoming in the future, Take a look at that circle because a lot of them are coming to fruition. A lot of them are coming true. So this is the next one that we're getting, essentially. This is the wash orange colorway. It's got gray on the top, essentially, pretty much like the Wave Runner, um, except it has an orange midsole. It might be a little bit of a darker gray on top than the Wave Runner. I'm not too sure. I can't really tell with these rendered images. If you were a fan of the Wave Runner and you were a fan of any of the orange midsole ones, I believe you're going to like this one. Like, I think it's super sick and it's kind of like, well, damn, I... I which one do I pick now? Which freaking orange? I don't want all of them. I just want one orange midsole one. Which one do I pick? So which one do you pick? Let me know down in the comment section. Which 700 with the orange midsoles are you going to be taking now that you know this one is going to be releasing? Uh, this is coming in October time. Don't forget in August as well, we're going to have the original Wave Runner restocking. So you're really going to have to make some decisions here on what Yeezy 700s you want to keep. So uh, next up, we've got another upcoming pair of Yeezys and this one is going to be like one of the most anticipated releases in a long time and this is the Yeezy 350 Beluga Reflective. So this is what it is apparently supposed to be looking like. Um, I can't, I don't even know anymore like what is real and what isn't. I believe this is the actual pair. Like I remember we looked at some fake ones there's a lot of fake ones going around, but this is an actual real pair. You can see it's got reflective laces in the top. Uh, it pretty much looks like a beluga. It's just going to reflect and this is going to be in crazy demand. Trust me, insane demand. But I think there is going to be a decent amount of stock. A lot of people have said that this is going to be a very heavy stock numbered pair of shoes. So anybody who wants a pair should be able to get a pair. Um, obviously, some people are going to miss out, but hopefully, if you enter your raffles when the time comes, obviously, this is only going to be releasing this September, I believe. Yeah, so holiday time 2021, we should be getting the Beluga Reflective, but we haven't actually seen any uh, official, or not official, but any real images of the pair of shoes. We've only seen the renders, so here's some actual images of what this pair should look like, and uh, yeah, it's looking clean. It's looking good. I know a lot of people are going to want this one, including myself. I don't have the original Beluga, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be after this pair of shoes. Uh, but yeah, moving on. Some Jordan 1 time. So we got a Jordan 1. This is called the Marina Blue. Uh, yeah, you got black leather, nice tumbled leather, uh, and then you've got some of this really nice blue. Now, again, I don't know about that blue leather. It might, don't know how it's going to feel in hand. Um, but overall, a clean pair of Jordan 1s. This is going to be a 2022 release uh, for anybody who's wondering. Apparently January 15th. So not too far around the corner. Like, you know, January is not too far. So I'm not going to spend too much time on it. You know, we'll get, we'll get there at some point. Let's focus on what we're really going to be hit with right now. But this is a 2022 pair of Jordan 1s. Clean, nice, I like it. White midsole, blue outsole. Um, looks like a really nice color of the, uh, the, the, you know, the blue. I don't know whether Marina Blue is that different to like Game Royal. We got another 85 pair of Jordans uh, and this is coming again 2022. This is apparently February and this is an, an obviously the high 85. So like the original OG cut of the pair of shoes. Obviously we saw the neutral grays um, and what was the other one we saw? I can't even remember. One other one, but anyway, the neutral grays and this one. So this one is coming in uh, 2022. 2022 Georgetown colors. I like it. Gray, navy, 
sick combination like probably the only other color that i would like with the navy is white like um which one was it the the japan ones the new the what were they called the midnight navies really really like those jordan ones um but this is a dope colorway as well so again 2022 let's not spend too much time on it let's keep it moving uh just a little update for everybody you remember the the lawsuit that i was talking about last time or the, the threats that went out from Yeezy brand to Walmart because of the fake foam runners. Well, that has been settled. Walmart essentially just said, listen, we'll, we'll get rid of those knockoff foam runners uh, and we will continue moving. We don't want any beef. Uh, essentially, there was some knockoff foam runners on Walmart's website. And I assume or I believe that Walmart said that, look, these are third parties. We're just going to get rid of it uh, and we're all good. All right. And yeah, they're all good. Walmart removes Yeezy foam runner knockoffs after Kanye West lawsuit and uh, everything seems to be good. Probably a little bit of a bigger story than I expected you know it's like there's so many fake foam runners around maybe it's just because Walmart is involved but I mean you can go anywhere and find different brands even not even like small brands now there's like some big brands that have like easy slide look-alikes and foam runners and stuff like that so yeah I don't think it's significant to just Walmart yeah just an update I wanted to tell you guys because that seems to be all settled and all good Bad Bunny is moving away from the forum low and is now making a pretty insane looking pair of ZX shoes. This is the ZX 8000 and it's going to be called Ice Cream. So it's a collaboration, of course, with Bad Bunny. You remember his uh, his forum lows, both colorways, ridiculously expensive. And this is a new insane, uh, delicious looking pair of ZX 8000. Super colorful, like the brightest colors you could find. You're chucking them on here and you're making it look like melty ice cream. I like it. I don't know if I would be able to pull these off whatsoever, but I think it's pretty cool nevertheless, uh, looking super, super bright. Maybe this is going to be part of the um, the A to Z thing that Adidas is doing with the, you know, the ZX 8000 model. Um, but yeah, this is upcoming 2021. If you were interested in an extremely bright pair of ZX 8000s for the summertime, then uh, this is a pretty cool collaboration, pretty interesting. And especially if you're a fan of Bad Bunny, I'm sure you're going to like this pair of shoes. The Jordan 1 High Iron Ore expected on All-Star Weekend. Now look at this one. It's looking pretty pretty interesting. I really like this colorway. This is like this. I love I love the suede materials for starters. And it's kind of like the metallic, uh, the, the Japan Co.JP metallics that dropped, except this is just gray instead of the silver, which I think might. Uh, I think people will like that a little bit more. Uh, All Star Weekend, of course, next year is in February and this is expected to drop. So we've got a kind of official looking image. Um, I'm not too sure if the materials are actually going to be like this, but so far so good for me. I like kind of the monochromatic kind of planar Jordan. So this one is for sure a, a good looking pair. But yeah, again, another 2022. We've got a lot of 2022 Jordans on this list. Um, but yeah, let's keep it moving. All right, we got another Yeezy 380 on the way. Uh, and this one is kind of like another kind of fall colorway. Um, so last time I believe we took a look at the stone salt colorway which was kind of a little bit of a lighter look and this one right here is uh, just brown tan I don't think there's an actual name for this one uh, but here it is it's a lot darker I like it I think they're gonna start pushing out some really cool Yeezy 380s and this is a new one here uh, and I believe it's for October November time so the 380s are still definitely in the pipeline they're still kicking uh, and I think a lot of people do like the 380 model it's just not a hype one it's just not one of those hype Yeezys but I'm all about it because I keep scooping up the nice colorways and I'm happy with being able to get them for a solid price uh, or just be able to you know just go and pick them up for retail so yeah dope pair of Yeezy 380s a lot more I guess dope colorways to come uh, we've had some good ones in the past and I think I'm excited for more new colorways so yeah October November time once we get like a name and an actual release date I will update you on that one um, but let's jump into today's live last pair of shoes the today's last story okay this one is insane this one gets me excited for what adidas is doing behind the scenes because take a look at this pair of shoes here is this just me or does this pair of shoes look crazy so 
This is implementing finally uh, the 4D technology into something I think is creative, futuristic, and looks cool. I'm tired of seeing that 4D technology just thrown onto another Ultra Boost or just repurposed from the Future Craft. Do something cool with it, you know? It's a really awesome technology. It may not be the most comfortable, but hell, it looks cool. It's similar to like Air. Like Nike Air is not the most comfortable, but if you make it look cool and you, you know, make it look like all bubbly and everything, people like it. So do something cool with the 4D technology and I think people will like it. Now this is cool. Take a look at that on foot. Doesn't this look like something insanely futuristic? Now this is an early pair uh, from Yankee Kicks who does a lot of early pairs and he's over on Instagram and he's saying that this is called the Adidas 4D Kush. Sometime in 2022 is the expected release date for this pair of shoes. But I gotta say, there's something about this one that just makes me excited for this colorway. Like, this thing almost looks like it lights up. Like, it's it's almost like got Xbox vibes to it. Like, you know, you press a button on the side and that, you know, those lights come on. Uh, it's not actually any lights. It just has a really cool effect um, with the actual colorway. But I think they can do a lot with this 4D technology and I think this is a great start, insanely cool. So yeah, that is gonna wrap it up for today, guys. That is pretty much all the news. We don't have any dramatic, uh, you know, lawsuits or anything crazy in today's episode. It's just a nice chilled out vibe, upcoming sneakers, you know what is going on. Again, I wanna thank you guys so much for always supporting the channel. I see you guys down in the comment sections giving me some support and love down there. So do the same on today's video. Let me know what you guys are excited for that is upcoming and of course thank you so much for coming through hanging out liking commenting and of course subscribing you know i will catch you in the next one but until then